Welcome to the Museum of Australian Democracy at Old Parliament House. Tonight is the first in our series of uncensored conversations. Today's conversation will focus on immigration, asylum seekers and refugees. When my parents uh, came home from work that day, they, they decided, they made a decision that they couldn't continue to stay in the country any longer. It was basically too dangerous. So the following morning, three o'clock. My two brothers and I were raised from our beds and we were hauled on the back of a, a truck and we were on the way to the Austrian border. We were aided by a young man, his name was Lewis, I never forget his name, who was basically our guide across the border. He was today's people trafficker. My parents paid him, or his family, whatever they had, they didn't have very much. He walked with my little brother and my hand, holding our hands dead quiet, everybody was silent. All, all I can remember, the only noise I can remember is the squeaking of the, of the shoes on the, on the virgin snow. And he stopped and he said, this is as far as I go. He kissed us all, said goodbye and turned, turned around and went back and disappeared into the night. We could hear singing in the distance somewhere. We finally got to the source of the singing and they were two Austrian drunks staggering home late at night after a, a night out at the beer keller. My father spoke fluent German and spoke to them and explained to them who we were and what we were doing. One of the drunks broke out into raucous laughter, slapped my father on the back and he said, well welcome, you are free. It's important for us to understand refugees, what they go through, how hard it is for them to make such decisions because it's such a huge step. Dislocating yourself from your culture, from your history, from your traditions, from your family and going somewhere where you don't know what awaits you. I'm very disturbed by the fact that uh, Australians are not educated enough about refugees. Australians uh, generally are unaware that refugees can make a, a tremendous contribution to their new country simply because the extreme steps that they take, the precarious measures that they take, the dangers that they face, that they are prepared to face, in order to gain their freedoms, in order to come to a land of opportunity, makes them uh, very determined to make a success of their lives uh, in their new country. Before I came to Australia, I was a refugee. I left my country. I was 21 years old, 22 years old, because there's no democracy. There's no speech, freedom of speech. There's no respect. <clears throat> As a refugee or asylum seekers came to Australia because of, of democracy and respect of human rights and dignity. But nine o'clock in the morning, my mom came to my sister's house, said, you cannot stay in this country, and you cannot uh, go to the university, go somewhere else. Mom, where I go? She said, wherever, cross the border. She said, take this money. This is your small bag, handbag. Just take it, take glory, and go wherever you are, whether you go to Kenya, or to Ethiopia, or to Djibouti. I never left, I never been outside my country. I was a student. I was hoping to finish my uh, degree as a, to become a doctor, that was my dream. And I looked around, I said, well, I have to go. In that moment, I became a refugee. I applied Canada, America, and Australia. Australia accepted me. I become, someone has got a life. Someone has got a uh, uh, future. I survived. I said to myself, you are here. There is no national security or intelligence looking, looking after you. You are a safe country. I can speak. I can uh, go wherever I want. I test the democracy. I test the uh, respect. I test the, the uh, human rights exist in Australia. All those refugees, like you and like me, they are fathers, mothers, children. They need respect. They need dignity. They need uh, welcoming. 
We have to respect them. We are proud of this country for being as prosperous as it is, as democratic as it is, as tolerant as it is, uh, and we say it's the best country in the, in the world. And then we are surprised that people want to come here.